It's Kay and Princess here and today we want to share another recipe for the furry loved ones. My friend Jim, hi Jim, his fur baby Cherokee is turning three later this month and he wanted an easy dog cake recipe so that's what we will be making today. Come with me over to the kitchen so we can go over the ingredients and then we'll get started. Two eggs, one third cup of natural peanut butter, one extra large carrot one large potato three ounces of cauliflower One fourth cup of plain yogurt, one to two tablespoons, tablespoons. Of, of milk and last about a half a cup of your fur baby's favorite kibble. I almost forgot the optional ingredient. I do use it in this video. It is strictly optional, but I do use it in the video, so I want to list it. It, it is the 3 fourths teaspoon, teaspoon of baking powder. First thing you do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Next, grab your pan, lightly spray it with olive oil. Okay, let's move that pan out the way. Grab a bowl. And now we're gonna start adding the ingredients. First, let's add those eggs. We have two eggs here. Next, let's add the peanut butter. Now, if you have seen my last recipe video, the basic Biscuits. <laughs> I used the same natural peanut butter in that recipe. We're going to use the same one in this recipe. I'm using natural Jif creamy. Or when you're doing a recipe for your fur babies, you want to make sure that 
the peanut butter that you use has zero to low sugar and it doesn't have any added oils. All right, let's add that peanut butter. Next ingredient, the carrot. We are going to shred that carrot. Let's move this aside over here. Got a measuring cup. We're, we are going to shred one half cup of carrots. Okay, now put, just put the carrot aside for this recipe because you're going to need it later when we do the topping. And now let's just place the carrot in the mix. This last ingredient is optional but I want my cake to have a fluffier texture, so we're gonna add three-fourths teaspoon of baking powder. I know you're looking at your spoons and you're like, wait a minute, I don't have a three-fourths teaspoon. Well, the easiest trick for three-fourths measurement is a one-half teaspoon and also using a one-fourth teaspoon. And that's how you get the three-fourths. Grab a whisk and stir it all together. Remember that pan that you uh, lightly sprayed with oil? We're going to use that right now. Let's pour the mixture in that pan. Now spread it out. Now it's time to bake. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and it's all done. Now, since it's for a special occasion, it's a birthday cake, I thought I would make a second layer. So, <laughs> while this one was baking, I made a second one. Just did the same amount of ingredients, what I showed you already, and made a second one. So now we have two. This is optional, obviously, but I thought I'd go, go big or go home, right? <laughs> We are going to set them aside for the moment. Now, after the cake has baked, um, that can be your last step. But today, I am going to show you how to make a frosting for your cake. But before we do that, let's grab a pot of water and bring it to a boil. have the boiling water right here while the water is boiling we're gonna we're gonna do the next step which is peeling the potato and cutting it into pieces and then after cutting the potato we're going to add the potato and the cauliflower to the boiling water but let's start with the potato let's move this over slightly Grab the potato. Potato is fully pe peeled. Now, let's chop. Potatoes are peeled and now cut into pieces. Steam's an indication that it is boiling. Yep, it's ready. Let's add the potatoes very carefully and add the cauliflower. Okay, let's check on those veggies, shall we? The potatoes and cauliflower, as you can see, are nicely tender. 
let's drain this and let them cool. Veggies are cool, so let's start. I'm gonna use the Nutra Bullet today. Let's add in the veggies. Next, let's add in the yogurt. We're gonna start with one tablespoon at a time of milk. So let's start with the first. Let's add in that second tablespoon. All right, now we are going to slightly set that aside. Personally, I think the best way to store a cake is in a cake carrier. Comes with a lid. Close it up. And if you put your cake in this cake carrier, you can store the cake for up to three days. So that's what we're going to use today. Take off that lid and start frosting the cake. Grab that first cake and try to lift the cake the best way you can. Okay. There we go. We got it. And just place it down like so. Now it's time for the frosting. <laughs> Remember that? Grab that. We're gonna add some of this to that first cake. Now we're gonna grab our second cake Wow, that came out pretty much easier than the first one. <laughs> and then we're just gonna place that right on top. Then we're gonna grab that frosting again and frost the top. Okay, now after you've finished frosting the cake, next is to decorate. Remember that carrot that I said set aside earlier? Well, we're going to grab that carrot now. And we are going to shred carrot on top. Since we cannot use regular sprinkles like what we would put on our cake because they are made of sugar, I think the best alternate is to use veggies. And it looks pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. So colorful. All right, next. Now, after the carrots, grab your favorite kibble and just sprinkle it on top. After you've done that, last final thing is candles. Since we have a three-year-old, we're making this cake for a three-year-old, we're gonna use three candles. And 
And there you have it. Alright, Princess has been patient enough. She's been patient enough. Let's see what she thinks of it. Princess, say hi. <laughs> Look at that. Well, again, another successful recipe. <laughs> I think she likes it. If you like this video, please thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, leave them down below. And I will see you guys next time. All right, cooking and kisses. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.